chocolatier in New York is keeping its Puerto Rican family culture alive for generations to come. Lisa Ronzier reports. The yellow bar for hot cocoa Chocolate Cortez is a household staple at breakfast for Puerto Ricans, and the same company makes Embajador as it's known in the Dominican Republic. The Cortez Company was founded in 1929 by Pedro Cortez Forteza. His great grandson is Carlos Cortez. Now it's four generations of us chocolatiers that have been, um, you know, continuing the the tradition. Working in the factory, you know, when I was a little kid on the, you know, conveyor line, putting the tops on the chocolate powder cans. Um, yeah, it's just been part of our life always. The cafe Choco Bar Cortez first opened almost a decade ago in San Juan, and now its second location is on Alexander Avenue. You see more Puerto Rican flags here everywhere than you do any other flag, and yet there aren't enough Puerto Rican establishments or businesses or brands, so I saw a necessity. This is a whole turnaround. The main tradition that people have come to know the Cortez brand for is seeing their family members drinking the hot chocolate and then taking cheddar cheese and dipping it in. And also with these uh, special crackers that we call uh, gasco. I drink it every day. The chocolate is incorporated into most of the cafe's dishes, like the garlic sauce for the skirt steak, the grilled cheese, and even the ketchup for the curly fries. Cortez wants to support other Latino entrepreneurs. On the walls and some of the packaging are illustrations of La Borinquena, the first Afro-Latina superhero. They can literally read the stories and adventures of La Borinquena, talking to them about sustainable farming, about charity work. It's kind of your job, essentially, to share your heritage. Right? It is. It's just amazing. I'm very proud. 